Hey guys, my name is Bharat and I'm the creator of Bharat in Germany. This is the episode 7 season 2 of A Day in Life of a Student in Germany, where we show you lifestyles of students studying in different German universities. This season is brought to you in collaboration with Study in Germany, Land of Ideas, a campaign conducted by DAD, the German Academic Exchange Service. In this episode, we have Norma from Honduras with us, who is studying at Magdeburg. Let's take a look. Hola! Hi everyone! My name is Norma Sevilla and I come from Honduras. I am 26 years old. I am currently living in Magdeburg. Um, I am studying a master in water engineering at the Hochschule Magdeburg Stendhal. I did my bachelor in civil engineering in my country and since I did my bachelor I had always the aim of the goal to go abroad and study my master with a big effort and time and everything I am here in Germany studying my master so in this video I will be telling you about the experience of uh, being here studying here in Germany how it has been for me like uh, living with other people here I will show you a bit of my city here um, my university so with this video I really really hope hope to motivate you to study abroad I hope you like this video hey guys so we are here in our balcony and I will introduce you to my flatmates hi I'm Marika I'm from Germany and I'm uh, studying at the university master uh, my master in medical systems engineering um, I'm Samantha I'm 24 and I'm from Hessen actually from um, a little town called Schreindorf and I studied my bachelor in hygiene and came here in February for work and I'm working here for a company. In my case, because as we said, we are from different countries. Yeah, Zamato from Poland, I'm from uh, Marika from Germany and I am from Honduras, like completely different cultures. my apartment and we are going to start with my room. I have to say that I am uh, sharing a flat or what we call it here like VG uh, with two girls so first let's go to my room. This is my room. It's the smallest from the apartment. So I have to say that when I came here in the room there was just this white desk. I have to say that these beds are really practical because I have here um, my clothes. I also bought here some uh, uh, hanger and I have here like jackets and t-shirts and I have I made this space for clothes, this is space for working. I also decided to take advantage about the walls and have some um, decoration. I have to say that I made this from egg boxes and I just put my stuff there. One of my favorite furnitures in my room is this because then I can put all my stuff. I like to make earrings also, so I made them and here are some of my creations. And it's super practical for space -based. This is my room. So right now I'll show you the rest of my apartment. So here we have what we call the broom closet where we save uh, yeah, the things we used to clean in the apartment or any other stuff we don't have. We don't want to have in our rooms. Here is one of the rooms from my flatmate. And we have our small kitchen. We also have divided space, like for example, here's our fridge. So we have like one area is for me, the other area is for Samantha, and the other area is for Marika. The same thing with the um, with the fridge. Um, what else? We have a lot of uh, areas for um, saving stuff. Uh, the same thing like with the groceries. We have. This is my area, this is Marika area, and everyone has their own place to save the food. And then we, we don't have a mess, we're pretty organized in our Vicky. One of my favorite things from the kitchen is this, the dishwasher. It saves a lot of time, guys, really, really, it's so nice to have one. And this is my kitchen, not a big thing, but this is where we are keeping our stuff. And as you can see, we, we try to keep it very organized. Here in Germany, they recycle, so we have a garbage for plastic for paper and for organic food. So we have it here. This will be the one we are using for the organic food, or the organic waste, sorry. Here we have uh, plastic 
and we have like paper. So then outside in every building there's a garbage for paper, for plastic and for organic. So today I have uh, breakfast. I will eat some muesli with milk and fruits. So I just put some muesli in a bowl. I have uh, milk. Sometimes I use uh, almond milk, normal milk or milk as you wish. I have some frozen fruits here and I also put some seeds to eat sometimes. So today I will put some lean seeds. Okay guys, I really hope you like the tour I gave you in my apartment and I will be giving you some tips or recommendations about what a chair flat is because I have to tell you that also you have the option where you can find a room or an apartment for yourself but usually this is a bit more expensive or either you can choose to live in the student buildings they are usually closer to the university and you have your own apartment and or you can also decide to share with another person you have different options here so you just have to choose or uh, um, pick something that really fits to you but for me in this case it always fits having a biggie apartment it's also nice because when you get to share with people from different cultures you learn about them about food about the language right now in my case yeah both of them they speak german so sometimes when they are talking i can try to improve my german that would be everything for me right now and i really hope or the recommendations i'm giving you will work for you but always think about um, looking for what it really really fits to you and what you like the most. I will be showing you what I uh, usually do on a day, in a normal day, so it depends. I have to say that, uh, for example, during COVID I was doing a lot of home office and I was just being at home working and studying German, but uh, then as far as the time was going, I got uh, more activities and I am also studying uh, German sometimes because COVID, uh, the German courses were cancelled. And I, I also try to be very active. Uh, so sometimes I am doing my my work, my home office, and then I get uh, maybe a bit tired of being uh, sitting in front of my computer. So I just play around with my soccer ball because I have to say that I love soccer and I really miss a lot playing. Or I just grab a book and read maybe five or eight pages of the book. I get a drink a tea, drink a coffee or just go out of my room and meet my flatmate uh, out and we have a drink together, we drink a coffee together in the balcony. At the time I am waking up around 7, 7.30, I really think waking up in the morning early is the best thing you can do, you are more productive, your day is longer. I am waking up early, 7 in the morning for late 7.30 and I'm just stretching a bit. Um, opening my windows, getting my bed done because I think the first, my first goal in the day is to get my bed done. But I do it and then I go for a coffee or a tea and I prepare it. And then while my tea is getting ready or my coffee, I brush my teeth, watch, wash my face and get a quick shower to wake up. I always get a quick shower in the morning to wake up myself. And then I change and then I sit there, drink my tea. Um, see what I have to do during my day and after that I make some breakfast. Um, I usually make in some quick things like uh, yogurt with uh, fruits, um, milk with fruits and muesli. Um, uh, sometimes I make some omelette, small omelettes. I sit myself in front of my computer and I start working or I usually do in the morning my German uh, learning and then in the afternoon I do my work, afternoon and late afternoon also have some things organized for the weekend like I usually do on the weekends my laundry I do on the weekends like food shopping or if I know that my weekend weekend is going to be busy I do my laundry I clean my apartment uh, my room and yeah I won't be that more often here so then I will have to change a bit my organization for other day but I can manage it and everyone can manage it with good organization I've been working uh, as a tandem. They paired me with a girl from Germany and uh, her name is Paulina and I have to say that I loved and I really like that I met her. She's such a nice beautiful person. So in this part of the video I will be showing you my beautiful and green university. The labs, uh, the library, our beautiful green campus, football, soccer court, we have a basketball court. Near the university there are also some rooms so you can live there and, are, and they're pretty close like in 
to one minute you can be from your dormitory to your uh, room for having lectures or the building where you have lectures is really helpful. Here in Germany there are two types of university. There's one that they call it the University of Applied Science that would be Hochschule, uh, the way they said it in German, and the university that in German would be Universität. But uh, I didn't know the difference between these two when I came here so I was wondering why are they asking me where did you study in the university or in the Hochschule and I was like yeah the university but I didn't know but something you have to know in this case for my uh, case I am in the Hochschule so it's the University of Applied Science it's a more practical uh, they're offering more practical studies uh, I have to say that it benefits more in this case because they really teach you practical things compared to the university because the university is more theoretical more research based work and i am more a person for doing practical stuff i like to be more in the field and knowing how to learn something so it works better for me they really prepare you a lot for a, a quick entry in the job market they're offering a lot of internships it's like um i have to say compared to the university we don't have too much research, research uh, things or jobs. We are doing more uh, projects, uh, internships, uh, practical exercises, working with companies. You pay in the university here in Magdeburg a fee. It's an amount of money you're paying for uh, the six months. And it is really nice because it includes also the tram. So you don't have, we don't have to pay for using the tram or the public transport or the buses. It's, with the student card is free. If you don't have a student card and you're traveling around the cities and you don't pay the tram ticket um, and the ticket controllers catch you, it will be a problem and you will have to pay a fee around 50 or 60 euros. So I have to say that with 450 euros here in Germany you can live like basic living costs like food and apartment. I am paying for example 180 euros for my room includes everything electricity water uh, radio tax um, because here in germany you have to pay a radio tax so for for the universities in the case of covid uh, i know i know it's like a very hard time to settle ourselves and for everyone to settle and to say and to learn and to know how are we going to be working with this covid situation but in the case of the university, the last days I've been there, lectures are going to be given online. And I think the people from first semester, they will have their sem first semester uh, um, going to the university. So it's also something good because it's not too much people going to the university because it's just first semester. And they also have the chance to make, to go out and make more a social life. And they also have regulations like when you go into the cafeteria or close areas you have to wear your mask and then in a certain point you are allowed to take them out. Obviously, for example, you are not going to be eating <laughs> with your mask in the cafeteria. You can also see some um, advertising or I would say some uh, papers in the walls where they are explaining you what are the regulations, all the rules for uh, being inside the buildings or being in the university to be more careful about COVID. Our green campus. Here you can do barbecues or just lay in summer here outside. We have some football courts here. There's also a cafeteria, Cafe Fossi. It's for students to relax and grab a coffee, study there. But right now it's closed or remodulation. This is the lab for water engineering.
one of the things is respect the rules from the country. In Germany there are rules for everything. So I think in order for us to have a healthy and peaceful coexistence with others, we should respect whatever the country you're going does, does. I mean, it doesn't mean you're going to lose your spirit. Really, really don't do it. I mean, it's really nice when you come and share also your culture and your things with other people, but it's also something uh, really nice, I think, for them and respectful to for them to feel like you are also uh, respecting what you're doing. Like, for example, I would say here in Germany, everyone is always on time, like always, always on time. For example, if you have a meeting or appointment, you should always be on time. As a student, I would say that another tip I will give you is be very smart and wise on how you spend your money. Really, be very smart on it. I have to say that if you come here, it's really helpful to find a side job or a student job apart from your stud studies so then you can have a bit of an income in your life of money and then you can also decide about traveling and everything because one of the most beautiful things here in Europe is that you get a chance to travel a lot and sometimes flights and uh, trains are very cheap between countries so if you're really smart managing your money you will make it and I will also apply that for your time like really give uh, yourself the time for everything organize yourself I always every morning or the day before sometimes I do a list of the things I have to do on the next day and then I I'm a bit more organized I also have a monthly organization I could say that if I have an appointment I just write it in my uh, phone something really important I have to say when you come from another country is to uh, research how your country regulations are working with Germany. For example, in my case, I come from Honduras and in my country there's an agreement between Germany. So I was able to come here for a period of time without my visa and then I can do my visa papers here in the foreigner's office. Ask the embassy of Germany in your country what regulations you have to do and uh, everything, every paper you need before coming here so what you, you should take with you during traveling because I did it and it was helpful for me another tip I will give you or recommendation is buy a bicycle it's the best thing you can do here I'm so happy with my bike uh, buy also a helmet and as a final tip and the most important one come here with your heart and mind really open to share what you are and to uh, ex exchange with other people you can also learn from them and they can also learn from you but really come with your mind open and your heart open and you're going to have a really really nice time here meet people if you have hobbies if you have um, any favorite things look for them so that will be tips i hope i'm not missing anything but totally you can see all the other episodes from uh our program and then you can get maybe more recommendations from another students from another point of view and I really like about uh, that about our show because we can see how it's uh, different from other people to be here so I hope you really liked it and I hope I really help you and as I said I'm totally totally happy if I could motivate you to study in Germany and I would totally recommend it too so Ciao guys! Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know about your favorite parts in the comment section below. If you want to get featured in the series, write us an email at parat at paratingermany.com and we'll get back to you. I'll see you in the next one.